Gazi, many congratulations. The title defence has started and you laid down a bit of a marker there. Yeah, I thought that I played pretty well, especially the first set, you know, and the problem was I looked over and I seen that I was averaging like 104 and then thought I've got to keep this up and put a little bit too much pressure on myself. But yeah, I know Michael slipped up in a couple of legs. I know I couldn't start on one or two of them, but yeah, I thought the overall it was, a, it was a good performance. Averaging over the 100 in the end, is that a pleasing little, little tick off on the stats box? Yeah, but after, like I said, after dropping down from 104, it was a little bit disappointing. But yeah, I'm just glad to get a win. You know, numbers are nice to look at after you've won, but yeah, the W is more important than anything. How much confidence can you take? You come in on the back of two ranking titles, both in, in the Euro Tour, and very much the man to beat at the moment. Yeah, obviously winning breeds confidence, so I'm, I'm full of it. And I know this tournament's a little bit different, obviously double start, double finish. And it can get you a little bit mentally, but you know the first game seemed, you know, I, I don't know. I just seem to concentrate a bit more these days and don't seem to try and put myself under too much pressure. And today it worked. You know, Michael, I think played pretty well as well. But I, I just topped his game a little bit. You said at the match play you made a mistake mentally. You weren't right. If you, how have you adapted to get it right for this one? Because this is obviously a huge part of the year. No, I just I just knew what I, what, what I did wrong and what what I where I went wrong and you know I, I let Dimitri get under my skin a little bit but I shouldn't let that happen. I should be more experienced and yeah, I seem to th not think about the certain situations, just control myself and that, that worked today. I remember speaking to you in Copenhagen. You said, look, I need this injection in my arm. It seems to have done done the trick. Yeah, exactly. I'm <laughs> people always slating me or pulling out of a tournament but it wasn't ra wasn't ranked and you know I thought it was the best thing to do and obviously winning in Gibraltar and coming here and playing pretty well in, in our first game sort of proves them wrong and says I, I knew exactly what I had to do and, and what I did was right. The race for world number one as well everyone's talking about it because it's it's hotting up a win here defending this title would really cement that spot. Yeah I mean I do, I, I, I'm, I'm number one now and you know, I've been there done it Peter's obviously chasing it and he's never been there so no, as long as he keeps chasing, then uh, I'm in a good place. Kizzy, pleasure, thank you. Always, cheers. Kizzy, when you're in one of these spells that you're in at the moment, you almost feel unstoppable. Yeah, obviously I, I don't feel unstoppable, but I feel you no know, really, really confident going into every event. And I know if I play my A game, then they have to play something special to beat me. And yeah, obviously being full of confidence and winning tournaments, I can't be in a better place, I don't think. Does that performance feel like a real statement of intent for me tonight? Yeah, and especially against someone like Michael Smith, you know, it was a real, real tough draw for me, and I, I, I knew that. But like I said, in every other event, as long as I concentrate on my own game, and you know, especially getting off on the doubles I did first set, that I put him under pressure, and as long as I played my own game, concentrated, that, that I'd come through our game, and, and that's what I did. I think. Merv King for you up next. Your thoughts on that one? Yeah, he, um, when I when I walked in, I walked in a bit late. Obviously, I didn't have. A, very good preparation today, but he, he said, oh, I'll see, I'll see you Tuesday. I, I don't know, he's trying to get on my skin a little <laughs> bit, I think, but no, I get on really well with Merv, and yeah, Tuesday will be, a, a, be another good game, but you know, if I play half as well as I did today, then I've got a chance. Cheers, guys. No worries. Guys, it can sometimes be a, a good thing, I mean, a big test in the first round, because Michael, although he didn't quite get there in the end, he's a, he's a good player. Yeah, but it can set you in good stead for the rest of the tournament. You know, I was... Like I said, I always concentrate on my own game, but it's good to know that obviously playing Michael, I know it's going to be a real, real tough game, and especially if he starts scoring the way he did. He didn't play his A game, but you know, I think I put him under a lot of pressure and, and stopped him playing his A game. But it's good for me that I had a, I had a tough, tough game, I think, in the first round, and whatever comes at me now, I'm not worried. So you speak about how much you get off the defending titles, and so you're doing that. Here this week, is there any particular reason why you're, you're up for defending titles rather than? No, it's just well, once I've got a trophy and you know, I've got it in the house, I want to keep it there. So, yeah, I don't know. I, it's just one of those things. Uh, I'm not sure how it happens, but I just, I don't know if it's a little bit of luck or extra pressure that gets me going. But you know, I, you obviously need a little bit of luck, and, and I'm playing well. So, but yeah, it's a bit, a bit of a confidence boost and a bit of motivation to know that you want to try and retain a retain a trophy. No, it's just. Um, you always say the first round is the hardest, so it must be a relief now to get through to the second round. Yeah, it was it was a relief and knowing that every other game had gone two nil so I was uh, cut short of time a little bit. I call you at quarter past seven and I was like two game had already finished. I didn't realise it was starting at quarter past six and I was uh, yeah, I was praying for games to go, go two one but it it didn't and apart from I think the one before before me which yeah, give me a little bit of extra time and 
but I was prepared and like I said I'm confident and I'm playing well so yeah a bit more time to you know less time to think I think as well how much now do you look at the rest of the draw like before you're just focusing on the first round like do you look at the rest of the draw now no I, well obviously I, I know I got moved now because he drummed that into me before I played but no I obviously played move Tuesday and just whoever I play I just concentrate on my own game and I keep saying it but that, that's all I, I concentrate on these days I you know, years and years ago, I would think about Michael, think about you know Peter, Gary, anybody who was above me, and obviously I was always chasing them. But but these days they're all chasing me, and I, I don't worry about anybody else, just my own game. There was some singing in the crowd tonight, and more booze again. Like, are you getting a bit sick of it, or are you just? To be honest, with you, I thought it was I thought it was alright today. You know, especially on the walk on, they were all you know singing my name, and I said to Michael, I said I don't get used this very often, and. You know, it was a bit up and down, but you know, I I seem to deal with it pretty well. I've had I've had a lot of practice anyway.